We'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Today's date is February the 6th, 2023, and this is the Board of Public Works and Safety. Um, first item is adoption of the agenda. I do not have any additions to the agenda, so if there's nothing else to add, I'll entertain motion to approve. Motion to approve. Motion made by Gerald. Here a second. Seconded Second. Second by John. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is presentation of minutes and approval. Do you have minutes in here from January the 3rd and January the 17th? Are there any changes or corrections to those minutes? I have none. Okay. Motion to approve it. Motion made by John. Is there a second? Second. Second by Gerald. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is comments of citizens. If there are any citizens that would like to make any comments, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address for the minutes. Seeing none, we'll move on to the department head reports. Uh, we'll start first with Chris Toothman, Wastewater Department. Okay, we'll move straight down to Steve Goodson, Building and Zoning. Thanks, Mayor. For, uh, for the month of January, we did issue 37 permits. I think everybody has a hand out of it. And also uh, a picture of, of the sign. We'll get to that. Uh, for the month, like I said, 37 permits, uh, 12 of those <clears throat> were electrical for a uh, value of 34950 We did not have any new homes. We did have eight commercial uh, permits for a total of 570000 uh, Salt room, do the, an addition in there. Uh, Fisher's furniture had a couple of roofs put on their commercial buildings and the SIRS. Uh, we did have one sign that is 1204 Washington. It's going to be a message center. That's for Dr. Adam Rockman, wealth in Washington. And that sign value was 70000 uh, We did have 16 miscellaneous permits for value $151,316. Not have any demos or sewer inspections. We did issue 12 temporary licenses for the month for a total of $300. So for the month, work uh, valuation was $326,266. We collected $1,751 in fees. And moving on down to the complaints, uh, obviously, no grass pole schemes or crash bus or. You know, trash letters. So here today we've had five complaints, uh, zero letters, but we have sent out one corrective order, uh, and that address is 512 12th Street. Freedom, Freedom Bank has the mortgage on that property. So we will be meeting in a month or so. Uh, is that the single wide trailer that kind of sits long ways? It's kind of off the road, yes. The old Marshawn property. Oh, okay. Yeah. Headed Marshawn's place. Yes. Okay. When it, do you have a date for that one yet? Off the top of your head? I, I do, Mayor. You need to tell me tomorrow. It's this the first, first Wednesday of March. Okay. 10 a.m., whatever that date Just get is. with Sorry. Dodie and maybe put on my calendar I'd like to attend. And yes. So, and I, we can set up the streaming service too for it if anybody else wants to watch it. So, great. All right. You've been busy. Yes, we have. That's, that's uh, yeah, 826000 Yeah. It's pretty good. For January. For January, that's, yeah, that's we quite a bit. A few bad days or other, but overall it was good. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Any questions for Steve? No, sir. All right. Thank you, Steve. Go yeah. Yeah. Steve, did you want, did you have, I guess they're asking about the, the pass. Is that just for information, the sign? Yeah. Kind of a. All right, we'll move on to Tell City Fire Department. We have Chief Lenny. Fires, 
16 alarm activations, those are commercial alarms, that's way down. Um, hopefully it stays that way. We used to run between 20 and 30 of those a year. So I'll take 16 any time. Uh, 10 brush fires, four vehicle fires, and then 25 others. And the other is uh, either natural, natural gas orders, <coughs> electrical calls, uh, smoke smells, control burns, things like that. So, and then uh, nine of the calls were in Short Township here, the contract for a township. Um, we did have, uh, I did put this on here, but I think we did do four mutual aid calls to uh, Camden area with our recent mutual aid agreement. And we actually had mutual aid received uh, five times. Yeah, the alarm activations. Heck, you had 16 in one year from one place, I think. Years ago, <laughs> you remember they had problems with their water oh, pressure or something. Had major yeah, there you, I remember that. Yeah. One year you they, had. They have actually just about rebuilt their sprinklers. So right. I knew they were. That was yeah. the issue, and they they've yeah. got it fixed. I so. think we only had a couple there this year. So yeah. I'm glad to see that yeah. that's down. I think, I think we, we yeah. have a really long, long, long call. Uh, any questions on that? No. Okay. No. Also, uh, I was uh, contacted with a date or a potential date in April for ISO to be here. Uh, they have emailed me all the packets and stuff. We've got to get together before they come visit. Uh, Good. I contact Brent with water for his part of it. And, uh, Oh, good. Yeah. Get with dispatch on their part. I'm, get, I'm glad they're coming April. That's the month they're starting on painting that water jar. So it, it, it might oh, be bad timing. What well, they're wanting to already done. They're wanting okay. to some minor testing done before they get here. Okay. Uh, everything they're wanting done beforehand now. And he said on that day he won't be here a couple hours. Uh, he's planning on actually trying to do the air fire department in the county on that day. So. It's going to be busy, man. Glad to see that. That's for those people who don't know what the ISO rating is. That's a fire rating. Um, the lower your rating, potentially the lower your insurance could be. And uh, we anticipate ours to go down because we've done a lot of things that would help that, such as improving the 16-inch main to the water tower. That helps. Repairing that 12-inch main so it has two feeds now going to that water tower. So if one line would would break, it can be isolated with the valves and still have water to that tower keeping our fire protection. And then also the flow testing they did on all the fire hydrants a couple years ago and painting them yes. is a big difference too. So those are some things that they'll look for. Amongst other stuff, you know, the new fire engine and yeah. the gear and that kind of stuff. So uh, 40, the breakdown of is 40% of the rating is based on your water system. So that's mm -hmm. water department and hydrants. 10% on dispatch, how calls are received in dispatch. And 50% is, is the rest of it is fire department. Yeah. So, so uh, I, I so hopefully it goes just, down. Just some information from what I've learned from the, the national rating for volunteer funds is anywhere from an eight to five. We're at six right now. So we can get to five to get into that lower scale. And even, you know, your fours, threes, twos, and ones, you're you gotta have eight people in the office you know, so you're paid. There you go, counts right. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough, right? Yeah, Not we enough. can drop to the lower end of volunteer scale, right? Hey, four or five would be awesome. Yes. We'll, we'd be glad to have that. We were close last time. Yeah, so I think with those changes and those improvements. So when people ask what kind of improvements you're doing in your community, you know, with water, why are you spending this? Why are you just, we're investing in our infrastructure, which will help you in, in other ways as well, not just de dependable water. water. Water is a big thing. If yeah. we, don't, we don't have it, it's our fire out. So. Yeah. Well, we've invested a lot in the water department the last few years, so. Any questions for Chief? No. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Chief. Moving on down, we have Chief Lowen, Tell City Police Department. Good evening, Mayor Moore. I don't have a written report, but just a couple things to report on. Um, we received notice from the state back last year. Uh, there was a shift in how we report uh, crime data. Uh, we used to use UC, uh, UCR, but now the standard is NIRA, National Incident Based Reporting System. Uh, the city began uh, uh, gave each law enforcement agency a deadline to become compliant, and so 
certified under the, the nine risk criteria. Uh, the deadline was July of 2023. Um, I'm happy to say that um, with the information we had, uh, thanks to my uh, thanks to our records team and, and command staff, we, we kind of rallied around and, and got it all complete. So we, we received our certification last week. So um, that's critically important for grant writing purposes. Um, those agencies that don't meet that criteria will not be eligible for state statewide funding and those kind of things. So we're really happy to have that certification uh, mailed to us last week. Um, secondly, the um, with the appointment of, of Assistant Chief Langman, we uh, we did post um, met with our school partners and we posted the SRO position. Uh, we posted it for 10 days and we, re we received two letters of interest uh, from from people within our full-time and part-time ranks. Uh, so we are having interviews this coming Wednesday. We had a joint interview with uh, uh, Phil and I and, and a few members of the uh, Troy Township Schools. So um, hopefully by the February 20th meeting, I'll have an update on selection on that. Any questions? No. Thank you, Chief. Um, Andy couldn't be here and Alvy couldn't and Pat, so Last but not least, Mr. Long, Tell City Parks. Just an update on the, well, I guess you guys probably aren't familiar because it happened after our last meeting, but uh, we had a 20 year old person do burnouts on the new basketball court that was born recently. Uh, left a couple marks, fairly long. Uh, text was chief, and you got me in contact right way to, to handle it. Uh, the prosecutor is, we sent all the videos, a lot of evidence, a lot of people reached out, uh, so we have a name. Uh, I don't really have an update on, on what's going to happen yet, but just to know that if anybody asks you that the prosecuting office is handling it. Uh, kind of problem that we have down at the swimming pool, other than litter, is the parking curves. We've talked about it before. A lot of them get broken, they lift them up uh, and drop one perpendicular to the other one and break it and then pick it up and move over and drop it and they keep breaking it until it's in several pieces. Uh, so we went out and picked up a bunch of rebar and washers, welded washers to the top of the rebar and drove them down in the asphalt. We don't have them all done yet, but uh, somebody picks them up now, I'm not going to press charge on them because they're probably going to kill all of us. Uh, <laughs> The dog actually went out and mowed today. I know that sounds funny, being in February. But the grass at the baseball fields that it treated uh, grows pretty fast. So we went and knocked the dead stuff off the top of it and uh, aerated all the grass today. And it's actually pretty green, surprisingly. Uh, and then the last thing, I ordered the angle iron today for the bleachers at Franklin's field. The, uh, we had three people fall through the bleachers last year watching baseball games. Uh, the boards are two by eights. Uh, the span between them are six feet. Some of the boards are 18 feet, so they cover three spans. But uh, six feet span in there, which isn't good for, for human traffic. Uh, it gets a lot of rain on it. They deteriorate, they rot out, even though they're pressure treated. Um, didn't really see a cost-effective way we looked at replacing the bleachers but we're talking two hundred thousand dollars over seven thousand dollars over bank lines what we're going to do we did a couple test pieces just to try it out we picked some of the worst boards and we'll weld it up from one one section to the other underneath the board uh, we used a couple fence posts that we had laying around to test that out and that actually worked better the fence posts were significantly more expensive than bank lines so we went with the uh, inch and a half we should have all those welded up before the season, before baseball season starts, which is coming up next month. So as soon as that gets in, that's what we'll be working on. I think it'll probably take us about eight to ten full working days to get all of the other 501 sections. Thank you, Brandon. Yep. Reduce those spans, reduce that liability. All right. That finishes the uh
the department head reports. So we'll go into the wastewater adjustments, which I didn't see any in there, so there are none to take any action on. Um, no old business, so we'll move right down to new business. We have a lot of people here for this. This is a wonderful day, I think, for Tell City and for Philip and his family. Um, we're going to swear in uh, Philip Plamian as the new assistant chief. So, Philip, if you could come up here and your wife as well. And you guys, if you want to take any pictures out in the hallway, you're, you're welcome. Or you want to stay for the rest of the meeting, you're welcome. We don't have a whole lot on our agenda, but we're glad to have you all here. Congratulations, Philip. Congratulations, Philip. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Okay, moving down on to new business. Item B is the curb cut, Ohio Valley gas. Um, Chris is the only one here from the curb cut committee. It looks good. Where's, where's that at? Down at their, their plant or their office? So they're going to put kind of like an ADA type ramp for anybody that's going up their sidewalk. Is that their plan? Okay. So is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion made by Gerald. Is there a second? Second. Second by John. Any further discussion? Hear none. We'll call for a vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next item in our new business, item C, purchase of the Colibarium. Uh, Connie's got a, I lost mine now. Here it is. Is this under the side there? There's a letter in there. Yeah, it, there's a letter. So Connie did speak with um, Alvy Stiff. He's our cemetery sexton, for those of you who don't know that. Um, and I think you also spoke with Gary Morton. I did, because he is on the board. He's on the, uh, the committee for the uh, cemetery. So with Crawford's Memorial no longer in business, they owned the Colibarium, and they would like to know if they would like, if we would like to purchase it. If you read this letter, it says there are 26 niches left at this time. That's $24,050 in sales available. Currently, the city receives $250 per niche for the total of $6,500. Ron and Joyce Crawford receives $675 per niche uh, for a total of $17,500. We would like to offer this. Uh, we would like to offer the city the opportunity to purchase the Colbarium for eight thousand dollars. That would give the city a future profit of sixteen thousand fifty dollars. So they've. I don't know how you say the place in Dale. Shum. Shum. There you go. Shum Monuments in Dale would like. Uh, would possibly want to order and install the plaques. Uh, the price of the plaques uh, could charge, you know, per contract, due and you know, due increase in cost. If you're not interested, let them know, and they, you know, may have some other people interested in it. 
And that being said, the city would receive 250 per each, and the new owner receiving $675. So, board, what's your thoughts? Connie, we do have the funds. Good money. <laughs> I've never heard Joe get so excited about something like that before. <laughs> Didn't have a kind of money I was on that board. Uh, it's an old, old brainer, isn't it, y'all? Yeah, it makes good business sense. Well, what's well, well, yeah. the expense of, I mean, do, is there any upkeep in that thing that Crawford's entail? Or? I have no idea. Well, I mean, you hear when we built, built those. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for those who don't know, you know, you take the front off and. Mm -hmm. Slide the slide. You actually, they used to throw BBs in there. And there's a tray, the casket goes in the tray, no. and then it just slides. You're, 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 this is for ashes, basically. Yeah. It's like it's for the, the size of this paper, probably. Yeah. You're talking about okay, you're talking about the mausoleum. Yeah. There's a difference, actually. I didn't know, I learned okay, I'm, I read it wrong. Yeah, we just put our money in the same fund when we either sell a mausoleum or a coffee Yeah, so he's selling those. Spot for the ashes. Yes. Said niches. I didn't know. Little niche, little, little niche, niche, like in the wall, yeah, a little okay. hole. That's, that's, that's the word. That's his words, not mine. That's how many rooms are available. Yeah. 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 So who's going to own the rest of the uh, mausoleum? The mausoleum. I don't know. We already own that. But we had to buy that out last year, year before last. It was ongoing when we come on there. Yeah. And it was like over a it was the last payment when we came on, there wasn't it? Like that. Yeah, okay. well, I, I didn't know that. I'll make a motion that we uh, make Crawford's an offer of $8,000. Yes. $8,000. Okay. Uh, I got a motion made by Gerald. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by John. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That's all we have in our new business. Under Mayor's report, I do have one thing. I would like to announce the appointment of Crystal Harper to the Perry County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, we did ask for letters of request to serve on that, and she's the only one who turned in uh, a letter. So uh, we welcome Crystal to that board. I'd also like to appoint to the Tell City Housing Authority, Joni Little. We also requested uh, letters and interest of that, and we did receive one from Joni Little, so she's here this evening. Welcome, Joni. That is a politically balanced board still, according to state statute. Um, it was a Democrat seat and a Republican seat open. We're still hoping to have a Republican uh, seat apply for that position. So if anybody knows anyone that would be interested, please have them send a letter of interest to my, to my office, and I'd like to sit down and talk to them and see if they'd be a fit for that board. Uh, only other thing under uh, Mayor's report, I'd like to just kind of update everybody a little bit on the William Tell Center. It's moving along very, very fast. If you go by and just look in the windows, you just you wouldn't believe it's the same place it was a week ago. Um, they're actually uh, already installing drywall, drop ceilings go in on Saturday. Uh, it, they poured concrete where they played all the plumbing in the floor. Uh, B-drives in the basement, uh, tearing that place up too to fix the uh, water issue so we can have the elevator in operating. The, the, I felt sorry for the tenants for the last week or so because there was a lot of noise. I could hear him jackhammering over here, so I could only imagine what Taylor Tours and Kenny Simpson had to hear upstairs. So we probably should have gave him some hearing aid, or hearing plugs or something, you know, help him out. But it's moving along very nicely. I definitely think they're going to meet the the expected expected date that we had for them. So we're excited. That's all I have in our mayor's report. There's nothing else to come before the uh, the board. I intend motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion made by Gerald. Just a second. Second by John. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Meeting.